For a last example, let's look at word following frequencies in a text. This is a very cool example. Let's say that you have some book, some text, some body of words list out all the unique words that are used in a particular order, whichever order you want, and then build a matrix whose i comma jth entry is the probability that word j follows after word i in the text. So let's say you've got some large text, lots of different words, you list them out, and if you've got the phrase wine dark sea that always shows up, then in this matrix, the entry corresponding to wine comma dark would be close to one as with dark comma C. But if the phrase C dark wine does not show up, then those corresponding entries are going to be close to zero. In general, these are going to be very large matrices of numbers in between zero and one, not necessarily symmetric. But these types of matrices are used all over the place. You could imagine it being used for predictive texting on your phone, trying to predict what word you're going to type in next.